heat tests as in Death Valley, winter tests as in Scandinavia, high altitude tests such as at the Gorsglockner or in the Andes, tropical climate like in the African rainforest. In addition, storm, rain, snow, and all this in Cologne in one building. Around the world in only a few hours, Ford engineers can do that today, in a car, in the new Ford Environmental Test Center. They can journey from the Arctic Circle at minus 40 degrees, stop at the Alps, then down to the Sahara at 55 degrees and blazing sun, and on to the equator, in one building. Heavy snow and extremely low temperatures are challenging our cars globally. The close-to-reality simulation of these conditions helps to design future vehicles to cope with it, and the new Ford Environmental Test Center in Cologne is the versatile toolbox for this. A good preparation is the start point of every journey. In special soak rooms, the vehicles are preconditioned, i.e. with a fixed air humidity brought on by a certain temperature and in a range from minus 40 to 55 degrees centigrade. Also, the performance of the heating system for defrosting windows can be tested here. A special feature is the possibility of creating snowfall on vehicles from above, not only because it looks beautiful, but to test, for example, the maximum stress of the windshield wipers or effects of the snow when opening the doors under repeatable conditions. The heart of the new test centre is formed by the three different wind tunnels. Roller dynamometers which are suitable for front, rear or all-wheel drive passenger cars and commercial vehicles simulate the driving resistances. The 1.2 megawatt turbines of the climatic wind tunnels produce the necessary airflow. The air is accelerated up to storm-like speeds of 250 km per hour in a closed cycle. To ensure a realistic airflow under the vehicle, parts of the special airstream system suck air off ahead of the vehicle and trace it back to the air cycle behind the vehicle again. Wind Tunnel 1 features a special acoustic insulation and is particularly appropriate for acoustic measurements. The focus is on the noise of vehicle components at different speeds and naturally at different temperatures and air humidity values. Wind Tunnel 2 enables the simulation of rain and snow in addition to variations in temperature and air humidity. The engineers are able to analyze effects on the different vehicle systems, like cooling or heating, as well as air supply to the engine. And the Altitude Lab even goes one better. You thought Europe's highest mountain was in France? Actually, the highest mountain in Europe is now located in Cologne. It does not have a name yet, but it is part of the new test center. Engineers can achieve a 5,200-meter altitude within 17 minutes. In the thin mountain air, they can test drive at wind velocities of up to 120 km per hour. Nobody drives faster at these heights, not even in the real world. And why all this expenditure? More than half of all Ford cars worldwide are sold in markets in regions with altitude of 1,000 meters and more. Before and after the test, engineers have to have descent brakes, like mountaineers in high mountains, so that their bodies can adapt to the respective air pressure. A journey around the world completely without border control, stress and fear of flying. The new Ford Environmental Test Center, a key facility for testing cars under extreme conditions.